<laughs> he say, you know, he saved me, protected me. So when he when he talks to me, he yells at me, and I'm like, I love you too, man. He you speaks know? English? No, no, <laughs> but his kids do. <laughs> oh wow! I I speak enough of his language to understand, like when we talk. That's amazing. When he yells at me, I'm like, I know it, because they're, they're they're funny. What's his name? Muhammad Gulab. Muhammad. Gulab. Yeah. Muhammad Gulab. Yeah, Muhammad. And um, have you have you, have you, have you have Muslim friends? Yes. Okay, good. So you know when they get upset about, they're like, this is an atrocity. <laughs> <laughs> God will smite you down. And then I'm like, I know. And then they'll look at you like, I love you. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Right. <laughs> they're so great. They're so great. I mean, if you kind of understand, they're, they're like the like the serious hand. They don't. They're, 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 there's certain things they don't mess around with, and there's certain things that they'll get upset about, but then they'll get over. And with me, I was kind of helpless. I, I was just laying there when he found me. I was in a river. Lying. And he's like, hey, what's up? There's a white boy down here. Let's get him out of here. And then, like, now now he can't get rid of me. Now he has to live here with me and deal <laughs> with all that. And I, it's so funny because he has 11 kids. They're, you know, they're just multiplying. They, they do that. <laughs> and uh, it's a thing. And uh, I deal with him just like I deal with the other family member. I mean, like, I'll never forget him. And people will tell me, like, why? Well, you know, he yells at him. I'm like, man, you don't know what we've been through. When that dude found me, huh. and then he had been shot. I mean, you can't believe what that dude went through to get get me back here. What he what he put with put up with up to this point. That's why he's here. Because how many times he's been trying? They try to kill him. And so I, you extracted him, not me personally, but I mean, but our, you our, had yeah. Them. Well, yeah. I mean, one thing feeds yes. the other, right? Right. I'll never take credit for anything that everyone else had to put a hand into, but he's here now dealing with everything else that every other Texan has to deal with, <laughs> including me. I tell you what, it'd be good ones like get me and him in here together. I would love that. Let's do it. You know how funny that'd be? He yells at me all the time. I'm 100% in. Let's go. Yeah, he's, I think. <laughs> how great is, is that? Dude? I mean, that dude, bro, he's like, man, I saved your ass for, I mean, you better get to bit. You You're not to, even president but, yet. He's like, I mean, he'll get so upset about some stuff. And he's like, this is, I don't even, God was he's like, What's for dinner? Let's get that. You know, those, those get over it so quick. Right. They're, they're great. I mean, like, once you learn how they, they yell at you, I mean, a lot of people are scared to death of that whole thing. But if you have to if you have to be saved by it, like, if I was helpless. I was freaking helpless. And why did he save you? I was like, God, spirit, man, he's just a good man. He's a freaking good man. And then I asked him for help. So there's a code. There's a, a Pashtawali code. And I was laying there, and I looked up at him, and I was bleeding. I didn't realize how bad I looked till I got home, and I got off the when they dropped the ramp on the plane, and they were carrying me off there. And there was this, there was a girl sitting there. I'll never forget her covering her face, crying. I was like, I must have looked a lot worse than I thought. But no matter what I look like, he got me back here. I couldn't believe it. Man, we went through some crazy times out there. Crazy times. I couldn't walk anywhere. I was a big man. They were hauling my ass everywhere around that mountain. I was laid up in the middle of the night. People trying to kill us. Cars blowing up. It was the craziest time. And they were just kind of like, hey, say it's you know it's a Wednesday. That's what I thought. I mean, I found. Isn't that crazy? Somebody like that. He didn't owe me nothing. Matter of fact, I probably caused him more grief than I did anything. And no matter how much I try to repay him, it's always a, uh, that's weird. What a situation, right? Yeah. I can't believe we're talking about this. I should have been dead a long time ago, man. I. He come walk, I'll never forget looking at him. I'll never forget his face. Did you ever feel like there was a reason why he found you? Did sure, you... of course. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, always. Like you're meant to tell this story? Well, I mean, we're all meant to go through certain things. And once you kind of, I always looked at it like, I always told, you know, if you don't think God's a wild man, he wouldn't be good at Christianity. <laughs> so if you want to walk down a rabbit hole, how far you want to go down? Because there's the kids down here that don't want to do nothing. But if you want to go play, let's go do it. And then you get down there where you're in the middle of a hole in the back of nowhere. And, that, and all of a sudden that shows up. I mean, I was like, hey, bra's laying in this tree. Oh, I'm talking about this. My wife going to walk in here and.